Okay, what we have here today is a lot of diesel stain on the white paint. And uh, the task at hand of this dump truck, pretty big dump truck, okay, a lot of white paint. And the uh, task at hand today is to get all of this black stuff that you see here, okay, all of that diesel stain to get that to look like this sample area that I just spent about 15 minutes doing. Okay, you can see how nice and white. Had to use a polishing compound on there. And uh, what we've got to do is just take care of all the rest of the white paint on this dump truck. And it's actually a Mack truck. There's a little, the little dog there. and. Says Mac underneath there. There's the bulldog. Got to get the rest of the truck to look like that little sample area. And uh, got all the ladders and everything we need. And not going to do anything with the dump part of it. Just all the white, all the white paint. And uh, this is just the first little video. There's that that area again of the polished paint right there nice and clean had to use a polishing compound on that and uh, check back in a few minutes well, actually probably a couple of hours and uh, put another little video together and show you the progress okay after a couple of hours I think we're starting to see some progress we got the uh, probably about one-third of this hood done the diesel stains are coming off. We come in a little closer here. You can see the, the difference between the uh, polished. Actually, it's been compounded and then a, a coat of cleaner wax to bring out the white, give it a little gloss. So uh, I'd say we got about a full day's work here and uh, just taking my time, not, not in any hurry, just being patient and uh, we'll check in in a little while. Okay, this is the process that I use. I use the, uh, a polishing pad and the, and the rubbing compound and just apply it, a little bit of dampness on the polishing pad. This, this pad is made specifically for uh, you know to be polishing not really it's not really a scrubbing pad like your the type you would use at home you know like for your dishes or something like that they're a little bit too abrasive but I just wanted to show you the process that's used here just a little motion like that you have to be very patient because it doesn't it doesn't require a lot of work it's just consistency like you're just trying to get that that diesel uh, stains out of there okay that's about it for now right there this is a glimpse of actually just taking the compound off and uh, it, again it's it takes work it's not not that easy it takes a little bit of rubbing takes a little bit of pressing on the on the surface and the uh, the compound wants to dry very quickly so it's not like car car polish where you put it on you can leave it on there 10 or 15 minutes the, uh, the compound you've got to get off within the first few minutes or else it'll be really stuck on there and very difficult to get off. But you can see how the, I know I'm a little bit shaky here with the camera. I'm doing the camera with one hand and the cloth with the other. But uh, basically that's it. It's the polish, or actually the compound is off of there. And you can see the difference between the dark, you know, the stainy area up there and the uh, polished area here so uh, it's not it's 
not all that difficult. It just takes patience and you gotta just have to hang in there. It just takes a few hours. Actually, I'm gonna be here most of today and probably come back tomorrow and finish up this, this Mack truck sometime tomorrow. Well, we're going into hour number four. Actually, we're in hour number four and uh, got almost about half of the hood done and uh, looking pretty good actually still have this half to do over here but you can see try to get some gloss here you can see how we got the, the gloss over there and all this diesel dirt over here so uh, Big Mac starting to look a little more white and uh, I'm just taking it easy like I said it is a big job but uh, basically the worst of the work is the hood and uh, once I get done that then we'll be able to move to the cab portion the roof is going to be a little bit of a challenge but uh, just taking it easy so uh, we're right right now we're at about the four hour mark okay it's day two Saturday Saturday morning uh, Spent about seven or eight hours yesterday taking care of all the uh, white paint on the Big Mac here and uh, spent about maybe about two hours this morning just about done actually I am done just taking a few few shots and uh, you can see how the all of that diesel stain came off of the hood the white it was all polished and waxed everything's just about done the owner is very happy and uh, just cruise around the side here, give you a little shot of both sides of the truck. As long as you got a happy customer, that's about all that matters. The roof was the roof was a bit difficult. Had to use a big, big eight-foot ladder up there, and uh, just take your time. It's about 35 degrees out here, though. It's nice and chilly. But when you enjoy your work, it's not a problem. You can see the gloss on that on that white paint right now. There's Mr. Mac up there. Well, you can see that detailing is not just for cars got a truck, a boat, a motorcycle, whatever's got paint on it can be polished and waxed. All right, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and hopefully uh, we'll see you again next time.